My name is James Tonkin. I'm a director, editor and producer. I'm Dan Lenny. I'm a cinematographer and educator. I'm Frank Lane Kyron. And I'm a DP and a filmmaker. I'm Gavin Elder. I make documentary films uh, predominantly for the music industry. I'm Peter Prevet and I'm a director of photography. Super slow motion is something that you just wouldn't really ever expect in a camcorder under sort of 10,000 euros. Shooting live performance on stage and having the option to shoot at 200 frames per second is just, is just fantastic. I will only say one thing about super slow motion. 240 frames per second. This camera gives me everything I need to express my creativity. For me, one of the biggest benefits is new 4K sensor. It puts you in a complete new league as an independent filmmaker. Because you're running with a big dog now. I think the future proofing on this camera is fantastic. It's got a new 4K chip inside of it, and it means that with future developments, you'll be able to take a 4K signal out of the camera into a 4K recorder. The obvious uh, inclusions in the FS700 are the ND filters, built in now. Uh, so they've come up with a very ultra thin but durable ND filter wheel, giving us three different settings, which is terrific. The camera's positioning is to sit alongside the FS100 and the F3. It's going to go right in between the two models, basically. For a lot of people, this can work as a perfect A camera alongside an FS100. Um, and for a lot of other users, it may be a B camera that they'll adopt with their F3 camera as well. This camera is perfect for commercials, high-end documentary, and of course, independent film. Why I'm very excited about this camera, and I feel almost personally connected to it, it's because six months ago we had a meeting with engineers from Sony. They came over from Japan and we discussed features that we wanted to see implemented in future cameras. And what's so encouraging for me is that six months down the line we're seeing these features implemented now in this pre-production camera which we're shooting with today. Shooting in candlelight, it was, I was really impressed to see that we really didn't need to increase the ISO of the camera. The images were very clean. I think a really interesting inclusion on this camera is the fact that you can actually take stills with it. And for a lot of people, they wouldn't care about this as a function, but actually, it's incredibly useful. I do a lot of product-based shoots where all you want to be able to do is actually take a nice high-resolution still through the camera, through the lenses, through the lighting that you're seeing. And that's something you can now do with this camera at 4K. Shooting at remote locations presented no problems for this camera. We could change locations quickly, monitoring the shots was easy, and we could use it on different rigs in various situations. This camera is ideal for everything you did with your DSLR or FS100 before, because though it has so much more features, Sony somehow managed it to keep the modular approach and the form factor almost the same. So you still can't shoot out of your pocket on the subway. Or you have it as a full-blown rig on a feature film set. I don't plan to get rid of my FS100 anytime soon. I recently filmed it at the Zucuto Great Camera Shootout and it stands up very, very well with some of the big players in the cinema world. But this camera is going to add to that. It's going to be an extra bonus. I'm going to have a really ideal situation. It's an FS700 and an FS100. So I've got my main A unit and the FS100 is a very, very able-bodied B unit. As I developed a lot of picture profiles for the FS100, what I like the most is the new Cinegamas. They give you so much more extra room to play with. It's amazing. I think for me, using this camera, it was a move back to a pro feel camera, whereas uh, shooting with DSLRs is very much a, a, a stills camera, being able to shoot with a video function. But this felt like I was going back to a dedicated professional film camera. The killer feature for me with this camera are the fast frame rates that Sony have adopted. And this is something which I'm particularly excited about because I do a lot of music-based work, and fast frame rates are something that I've always been longing for in a camera this size.